Hey douches, this is Downware with my uh, video for the end of my commentary. I decided to title this The Retards of Battle.net, and I guess I'll tell you who sent me the replays as I go through them. Basically, there was a lot of uh, funny moments and a lot of the replays people sent me, but uh, they weren't worth doing a whole audio on them, so I just took the best parts and put them on a video here at the end. If I didn't use one of your replays, hey, sorry. You'll get over it, I'm sure. This first one's from a Jordan Severns. No relation to Dan Severn, I'm sure. That incredibly boring wrestler and MMA guy. Anyway, uh, <coughs> it's a two-on-two -two game. The Night Elf guy says, I'm going to tower with Ancient Protectors. Now look how stupid Blue is. He like puts like one ghoul on each building. He's like, this will cancel them for sure. Oh, my plan backfired. They did not get destroyed before completion. Oh, God. Anyway, let's see if Blue can manage to uh, lose his death knight here. I think I'm safe here. I should probably do something about those ancient protectors. I know. I'll go have a rational discussion with them. You know, this is private property, fellas. You do... Ah! There goes the death knight. What a dumbass. And his teammate wisely teleports out. This next replay is from Remo Rimmel. That sounds like a comic book character's name. Anyway... He played a, uh, he was playing as Frantic here. It was a one-on-one -on -one undead mirror. Pink insisted on continuing to make units that had no chance of beating what Frantic made. And at the end, he managed the ultimate indignity. And Baron Frostfell there gets the incredible Acolyte surround. Come on. Don't lose to it. Oh, jeez. Scratch to death. And the acolytes continue their little childish, girlish laughter. Tee -hee 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 -hee. That's what it looks like they're doing when they're uh, kind of convulsing like that. Anyway, this next replay is one of two I'm using from this guy, Sonny Woe. Good name. Uh, he does. I also like his uh, his his name he used. I think it, I think he's the one playing this one. Fifty DKP minus. You can look that up if you want. Some World of Warcraft nerd raging out and screaming about organizing a raid or something. Anyway, uh, this isn't the most original strategy, but it's always entertaining and good for a laugh. It's the old uproot your tree as Night Elf in a one-on-one -on -one game and go hide it. He's also adding the little twist that he's building a new tree so that there's actually something there instead of just nothing there, which I've seen that done too. But, this, but uh, his opponent is really stupid, as you're going to see here, because... Um, that's why I guess I called this the retards of Battle.net. Hey, there's a tree of life constructing here. I wonder what happened. Uh, maybe he moved the other one. I have no idea what he was thinking there. Probably something to the effect of, I like pie, or something equally intelligent. Anyway, he obviously senses that this must be a trap. See? Look how dangerous that was. That tree just smacked him. He's like, oh my sh holy shit. I almost said, oh my shit. Anyway, it's like the Wizard of Oz with those evil trees and stuff. So he gets back up from the ghoul death squad. Ha ha! I'm too smart for your trap, says Purple. And he manages to kill the Tree of Life, and now his head explodes because the game's not over. What happened? Stupid ass. Anyway, I like this part too. He, uh, you can clearly see on the map, I can, I can understand why he wouldn't pick up on this, because, you know, you can't really see that hole in the trees unless he got the thing right, but he has clear view of that tree of life for, like, five whole minutes or something in the replay. The other guy went AFK, he told me. So, he just kept creeping around the map, oh, I might add, losing, all, like, all of his ghouls to creeps. I like this part right here, he's like, where could he be? Oh no, he's got an invisible tree right next to me. Uh -huh, Aha, oh, damn. So, anyway, he's like, what? Now, right here, he thinks, I know, I'm on to your game, a, a knowing smile. I know how to counter this shit. How's he gonna, how's he gonna outsmart his opponent here? GG! Duh! See, I win. Oh, wait, he lost. What a retard. Anyway, here's a uh, replay from Victor Lee. Or Lay, maybe he's French. It's L E. I probably shouldn't be giving out their name because that's what that's probably their real names. But hey, fuck it. You sent me a replay. That means I own all your personal information. Ha ha ha! Like the guy from Facebook, I own you. Anyway. Uh, oh, if you notice from the game timer, the guy waits till nine. It's a four and four random team game. He waits till uh, nine minutes into the game and then starts creeping. He's at level four right here. There's a gigantic clusterfuck four and four RT battle here. His priestess of the moon manages to level all the way up to six here, like. 
in about 10 seconds. And there's five. And here it comes six. Oh, I also like how red it is. You guys fight the battle. I'll take out these farms. Real helpful there, buddy. Anyway, uh, there's a testament to how stupid RT players are here coming up here in a second. And he's almost level six. Blue, being ultra observant, says, My hero just died. Well, thanks for the update. And uh, red gets level six. You know what's coming next. Level three searing arrows. No, starfall. And let's see... Well, just look how much shit dies here without them doing shit about it. Maybe we should get that priestess. Eh. We'll be fine. Finally, she gets stunned by something here. I can't even see what it is because there's too much shit on the screen. Yeah, got stunned by something. So, teleports out. That's not the end of the hilarity yet, folks. They have the audacity to come into his base. He's almost level 8 on that priestess. Now watch this shit. Da, 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 da. Hey, there appears to be stars falling on my head. Should I kill the priestess? Nah. Wisely thinking better of it, the guy moves back to a continue attacking the buildings. You know, those moon wells are keeping the bitch alive. You could just back off until it wears off, but it's really hard to get a group of retards in this big of a group to all work together at anything. So, meanwhile, <laughs> the priestess gets all the way to level 10 because he basically kills like four armies with Starfall because they... They fail to st try to stop him. Then finally they're like, Wait a minute. Priestess dead. No more Starfall he fall. Kill it! And, like the true hero that he is, Red gives one last command to his teammates to avenge him after he violently gives his life to kill 8,000 units. Hit! Uh, how traumatic. Can't wait for the movie Hollywood adaption that's going to definitely be made from that. This next one's from Orange. He sent me this replay of playing against a truly stupid man. Definitely belongs in the Retards of Battle.net series. You know, have you noticed I'm just starting a bunch of series of videos? That way I can reuse ideas later so I don't have to keep coming up with a new one every time. See? That's how the pros do it, kids. Anyway, he noticed he noticed pretty early on in the game that his opponent is a complete moron since he went paladin first in a human on human game. So he decides to invis some footmen and run out and surround the paladin. Paladin's kinda looking around like Something ain't right here. I foot no work did. I, I'm stuck. Huh? What happened? And the rest of his army's like, well, fuck you, buddy. That's your problem. Wait, come back, guys. I'm paralyzed. There's something. I'm, what happened? Anyway, this idiot sits there. And Viz is about to wear off. And uh, he, it, wear, it wears off, so his guy automatically starts attacking, but not before he'd already committed to using his teleport scroll to escape that Invis surround. So here, here it happens again, and this is the best part of this replay. Orange, you're a devious bastard. People say I'm mean, but I don't do this kind of shit to to mentally challenged people. I have too much respect for them and their, their struggle, their plight. You know how hard it is for a retarded guy to resist the urge to eat pennies all day until his, his stomach explodes? It's very difficult. And somehow he managed to turn on his computer and load up Warcraft. And now, oh my god, the paladin's stuck again. Whoa, oh my god! I'm being followed by ghosts! Spooky. He <laughs> struggles. Whoa, I, what? <laughs> I can't wait for his reaction here. This is good. Yeah, well, um, I, I'm confused. Oh no! Oh no! He can't move! <laughs> and Arch says, You must be broken! Guess so! Oh well! Oh! What a tard. So, anyway, this last one, I don't know what the odds are of this shit happening just as perfectly as it does here, but it's gotta be astronomical. And a retard has to be involved on the other side. Sonny Woe sent me this last replay. Notice that his illusion has a cloak of shadows on it. Which I, I I didn't really know. I guess I should have just assumed it. But uh, when you got Cloak of Shadows on an illusion, it works on the illusion too. So the guy's like, wait a minute. He's invisible. I used the reveal from the lavatory. Lavatory. You know, like the shitter. And I reveal him. Aha! Oh, what? Oh my god. It was a ghost. He's gone. So anyway, yeah, the the shit just happened to run out right when it right as he did reveal, so he didn't see anything. He's like, "Where'd he go?" Now watch this. Like a, a couple, of, like a minute or two later, what's gonna happen again? Twice in the same game. There's no way he could have planned this on purpose. He hides again. Guy's like, "Aha! Uh -huh. This time I'll catch him. I got my proton pack." 
And oh, oh my God, he's gone. <laughs> so, twice. What are the odds that this shit would run out right before he revealed there? So at the end of the game, after he loses, how are you going this? So I couldn't kill you. I guess he's. It took him another like five minutes to realize that it, to rule out the ghost theory. So fifty DKP minuses. It was an illusion. I had a cloak. Check the archmage, dummy. And it was night. And I think Green might say one other stupid thing here. Yeah, he does, I'm pretty sure. Come on. The spyglass <laughs> showed you. The magic spyglass that's been passed down for generations through my family. Anyway, yeah. It was also a illusions. Or illusion. Your choice. You know, either one of those will work. Anyway, uh, this was the first edition of the Retards of Battle.net, and just like Sonny Woe, I tricked you too, because you thought this was going to be good, and you were wrong. So anyway, this is Downware. I hope you enjoyed this crap, and I'll see you next time, bitches.